Welcome to the fastest off in town. Today I'm set the Sota Dav Lamed Vav. We're going to begin on the very top line on Lamed Vav Amid Alf. Bore, come and see. Kama Nisim Nasabo Soyom. There were a tremendous amount of miracles that happened on that day. Over Yisrael Siardin, on the 10th of Nisan, the Jewish people crossed the Yardin. In addition to that, Uvo Har Grizim Har Evil, which was Yosem Shishimil. They made it to these two mountains in which the bra the brachos and the clothes were said, and that was very far away, six more than sixty mil away. away. No person would challenge them, no one would go against them. because if anyone would, Miyad Nitras, they would immediately lose control literally of their bowels, says Rashi Miskalkil Mirei. Shnemer es a mossi ashalachofanacha, the fear was cast before you, the hamoti es kol am asher tabu baham begoimer. And Rashi says, Vahamoti is lashen muhuma, the irbu of aguf, that there's something mixed in their body, namely that they're having difficulties with their digestive system. The omer tipo lehami mossa vafachad, it'll fall upon them this fear. So when it says that, it's referring to the first time we cross, which is by the Yamsuf. Which is Zubiashnia, the second time. So actually Rashi says, Birishina is Bime Yoshua. And Biashnia is referring to Bime Ezra. It's referring to the time of the second base of Metosh. Miracles could have happened in the days of Ezra, Kabir Shaina, like the first, Ella Shigar Machet. But because there was a cause that we sinned in the second base of Mekdash, second, that second time of going into the base of Mekdash, so therefore we weren't Zaycha. Says Rashi, Lalois Bezraya. We didn't go up to Eretz with strength. Vohu Mishtabdin Bilmalchos. We didn't have control. Ella Shigar Machetim Shal Yisrael. So we had to go with permission in the days of Ezra. And on that same day, we gathered the stones. We built the Mizbech, and we covered it with lime and pitch. We wrote the whole Torah in all 70 languages. Shnemar, Be'er Hetev. The Elu Olos and Shlomim, and on that Mizbech we brought Karbonos, the Ochu of Shasu, the Somhu, we ate and drank and we were rejoiceful, the Verch of Akilu, and because we were by Har Evil and Har Grizim, we said the various brachos and clothes as we've discussed previously. The, after that, the Kiplu as Havanim, we took apart the stones, Uvo, Volonu, and Gilgal, and we brought them and we lie down in Gilgal, Shnamar, Bavartim Osami Mochem that we took the stones with them. They took the stones with them. The Yanachtem Oisam Bamaloin, they were brought literally Bamaloin to the place where they slept. Yachabachol Malonu Maloin, you would think that they would bring these stones every place where they slept. Tabaloy Marashir Talinu Bohalaila. Only on that night, that one time when they were in Gilgal. That was it. Luksiv the Ashtem Esri Havanim Ha'ewa Sher Lakhu Vagaimer. Referring to these twelve stones. Tana, we learn, Sira will over Imahim. A fly did not pass over them. Velo, Vahoksiv, is Shalach, the Esat Sira of It says that there was a Sira that went before. So, Rav Shimon ben Lakish, Al Svas Yardin Omda. They actually stayed by the edge of the sea. The Zarka Bahen Mara, and there was a, its poison was cast. The Simta Enehen. Melmala and it this simte nehem melmala and it was um let's see is where I should say this note and that it was closed up or poisoned their eyes from above the sirastan melmata they became sterile from below and I will um Wipe away the Morim from before you. Asher ki gaiva razim gavu. Then it says, v'chasayin hu ka'aloinin, that they were protected 
Kaloinim, the Ashmid Pirio Mimal, and it was destroyed from uh, their fruit from above, the Sharasha Mitachas, and their root from below. The Gaimer. Rav Papa Eimer states Sarois Haboy. There's actually two different types of bugs or flies. Chad the Moshe v'chad the Yeshua. The Moshe lo avar the Yeshua avar. When it came to Moshe, um, they did pass by, but uh, Moshe lo avar they did not. However, Yeshua they did. And then the Gemara continues. There was Shisha Shvatim al Leroish Hargrizim Mechulus. There was six Shvatim on one mountain. And six on the other mountain. So my vechetziyai, the pasuk says vechetziyai. This is referring to in state for Yeshua, which means a half, a specific half. It says Rashi, Yeshua hachiksev b'haykra, to masnis and b'chol yisrael v'gomer chetziv el mul har gris and chetziv el mul har evil. One more mechda vechetziyai. Why does it say the half? The mashma o chetzi hamiyuchad. Either means a special or specific half. Or maybe it's referring to a half that's mentioned elsewhere. So, Rav Kahana, Kader Shachalukin Kan, Kachalukin Be'avni Eifoid. The same way that the Shvatim were divided in a har grisim and a har evil, says Rashi, El Yamdu, Avarech Esa'am, and Gomer, Vel Yamdu, Al Klola. So, as the Psukim specify exactly who's, which six were on this side, which were on the other six, six on the other side, so too, when it came to the Aphod, the, the Shoham stones, the, Av, the, uh, the Avni Aphod, so also they were written Shishal Al Evan Achas, Shishal Evan Ashenis, Chisol Daisam. So, Mesri, Shteavanim, Toivois, Hayalola, Kain Gadol, Al Ksefav. He had two beautiful stones on his shoulders. Achas Bakan Vachas Bakan. Yishmosh name Asr Shvatim. The names of the twelve tribes cost of Lehen. Shisha eleven Zu. The Shisha eleven Zu. Shnema Shisha Mishmaisam eleven Achas Vagaymer. Shnia Kisol Daisam. It says the second was Kisol Daisam. Vori Shaina Kisol Daisam. Imne Shihuda Muktam. So what does that mean? So Rashi says, Kisedali Dasam. Shisha Hachrainim Kisidran. So six of them were in order of birth, namely God, Asher, Yisachar, Zulun, Yosef, and Binyamin. However, Shisha Rishonim, the first six, Nichvu by Yehuda, Reuven, Shimon, Levi, Levi, Dun, and Avtali, Kaseda, Leidasan, Chutzmi, Yehuda. So all of them were written in order except for when it came to the six in which Yehuda's name was first. Due to the Hashivas of Malchus, so Yehuda's name was first, even though, of course, he was the fourth son born. V'chamishim oisius hoyu. There was actually fifty letters in co- in combination. Esu v'chamish al evanzu. Esu v'chamish al evanzu. There was twenty five letters on each side. So if you count up the names on both sides, they'll equal twenty five each. Rabbi Chananim ben Gamliel Oimer. As we continue to lamed vav and beis, and he says, Lo keder shachalukin. No, they actually were not divided in the way that it's mentioned in Sefer B'midbar. That's how they're divided. That's how it's written on the Avni Which is, of course, Chumasheni is referring to Sefer Shemos. And Rashi says, What is that? So Rashi elaborates. If you look in the beginning of Shemos, it says Ruvain Shimon Levi Yehuda Yisachar Zvulun. So we see that according to this opinion, Yehuda's name was not on the top. It was in the same order. Bech mehem b'shnei b'sheni binyamin dun v'naftali God v'asher v'yosef. So that is the difference. Whether or not Yehuda's name was actually mentioned, because according to the other one was actually uh, here it says Yosef u'binyamin. Which makes that's the order. And over here it says Binyamin is first. Right? Binyamin's name is first, not last. So that's another Chiluk. So it's interesting that either Yehuda's name was on the top, or no, he was regular. But Binyamin, according to that first opinion, was on the bottom, but here's the very top. And Yosef's name was last. Okay. 
Elo Kedera Shachlucha Mechomeshen Kaitzad Bnei Leia Kesidron. So it's, the Gemara says it clearly here. So Ruvin Shimon Levi Yehuda Bnei Rachel Echad. So which is Yisachar and Zavulon. And then Mika Bnei Bnei Rachel Echad Mika Echad Mika and Echad Mika. One here and one there. Uvnei Shvachos Beemsa. And the shvachos are in the middle. In other words, you had all of uh, of her children, all of Leah's children, which was Reuben, Shimon, Levi, Huda, Yisach, and Zvon. And then you had Binyamin, and then Yosef. At the Binyamin was first, Yosef was last. I don't know why it's not Yosef and then Binyamin, but nonetheless, then you have Dan, Naftali, Gad, and Asher, which are the children of Bil and Zilpah in the middle. So that's the reason to sandwich them. The Elmaya Nimekaim Kisol Daisam. It certainly is not Kisol Daisam because Binyamin's name is before Yosef. It means Kishmosh and Shikarl Henavihen. The way that their father called them, Lokishmos Shikarl Hen Moshe. Not the way that Moshe called them. What does that mean? Because Moshe said it has to be Ruvain, Vol Ruvaini, Shimon Vol Shimuni, Dan Vol Hadani, Gan Vol Hagadi. So Tiyof did Rav Huna. Lachayra, this is a question on Rav Kahana. Why? Says Rashi. The Kul Yalma Ein Zeh Seder Hargriz and Vahar Evil. This is not the order. Deil Seder Hargriz and Vahar Evil. Hargriz and Shimon V'Levi Yehuda Yisachar V'Yosef V'Bin Yaman. Which doesn't even have Reuven in it at all. The Vahar Evil, you have Reuven, God V'Asher Zvon Dan V'Naftali. So it's all mixed up. You have Yosef and Binyamin together with Shimon Levi and Yehuda, which on the Aphod stones, they say he's on, they're on the other side. And Reuven, there's a question if Reuven is on the top or, or maybe he's the second one because Yehuda's the top, but no one holds this order. So it's a Tiyofta Rav Kahana. So Tiyofta, Taki, you're right. Fine. So the Elamai what does it mean in half? It just means that the half that is facing Hargrizim ends up being more than the half in Har Wamata Because Levi was on the bottom. What does that mean? So Rashi says, Mimnesh Levi Wamata Zikni Kahuna Lavia Hayu Im Haaron that they were in between. So Adra Bimnesha Levi Lamata, what does it mean? Because the Levium are in the middle or in the bottom, Batsulhu, that should make should be less. Because again, if we're mentioning Ruben, Shimon, Levi, right? So we we mentioned that Levi is by Hargrizim, so that means there there's less people there. So how can we say that what this means is that um, Levi Lomata, that it says that the Chetzi Shalmul Hargrizim, people of Hargrizim is going to be Maruba, is more. What do you mean? But Hargrizim includes Levi, and in Levi, again, you have all basically the Levi more in the bottom, in the middle. So that makes there less people on Hargrizim, assuming there's more people in Hargrizim. So where it says, Hachikamer. Among the group in Har Grizim is Yosef and Binyamin. And Yosef had many, many people. And therefore, because of that, even though Levi was not highly represented on the top, because they were all on the bottom, doesn't matter because Yosef was so large. Shnemar, Yedabra Bnei Yosef, Esir Sholemor, Madu, Nasatali, Nachla, Gar Echad, the Chevel Echad, I only give me this one portion, Vani. Am Rav. So we see clearly that he was very large. The Yermelein Hem Yeshua. So he said back, Im, Im Am Rav Atah, if you're so large, Ali Lucha Hayara, then go to the forest. Armelein Luchu Ve Hachbiu Atzmechem Ayarim. Then you should go and hide yourself in the forest. Shotish Lechem Ayin Hara. Because you're so large, you should go in the forest. You shouldn't. Be publicizing how great you are and how big you are. Hey, Zardi Yosef will shout to be Ein Abisha. 
We're not capable of dying hard. Echsev ben poras Yosef ben poras oli oyin. V'yom rabavo al tikri al tikri ali oyin el oily oyin or above the eye. Which is Gemara in Brachos with Rav Yochanan. Rav Yosef, Rav Chanina, Oymer Mahach, Rav Yidgur, Rav Bekir of Aretz, like fish. Ma dogim should be yom, just like the fish in the sea. Mayim achas in the land, they and ayin shalats, it's behind the water covers, and there's no ayin that can has control over them. Avsar Shal Yosef, and ayin shalats, it's behind. Hani chamishim, so hold off for there one second, now let's see a couple questions. Question five. Ketza haya chalukim shemais hashvatim, shahayi kaisim al havanim. So according to one is considered kesod asam. Shisha rishayinim besad echad, with exclusion of Yehuda, because Yehuda was written on the top, and then the other ones were on the other side. Wuchan man yemer kesedir shenimnu bechumas shemos, which has Reuven, Shimlei, Yehuda, Yisachar, Yisachar. Uh, and then on the other side you have the other six which Binyamin and Yosef were not next to each other but Binyamin was on the top and then Yosef was was below it okay question six why does it say by Abel? because even though the who hamuit because Har Evil there was less. To be Yosef, Shai Am Rav, Hayu Al Har Grizim. Because he was part of Har Grizim, which was, uh, again, the children of Yosef were much, much larger. Okay. Question this is a hard question. TB 17. Mi mahashvatim o hayu kaisav al seder kifi seder kisol daisa. So according to one opinion, it's Yehuda. The other one is Binyamin. Very good. So that's TB17. It's a great question, actually. So TB17 is on Laman Vavanal, but it's also this Rashi over here. TB17. Okay, good. Vaitim. So we said that there's 50, 50 letters, 25 on each side. So Hani Chamishim Oasis, Chamishim Nachi Chadahavin. If you actually count them, there's 49 letters, not 50. So I'm Rabbi Yitzchak, Yosef Hosif Lo Osachas. Yosef's name was spelled with a hey. Shnemer Edis Be Yosef, Samo Beseso El Eretz Mitzrayim. So therefore, that's how we get to the 50. Mas for Rabbi Nachman, Rabbi Yitzchak, Kisol Doisa Be Inon. I thought it has to be Kasol Daisim the same way. So that's without a hey. Elokol Tarakula bin Yamin Ksiv. Normally it's been, it's not, you're right. But normally it's written bin Yamin with only one hey, with only one yud. Vahacha bin Yamin Shalim with an extra yud. Kedeksiv Aviv Karlo bin Yamin. Amrav Khanbar Bizna, Amrav Shim Chasida. Yosef Shakita Shem Shemai Masay Serence we had before in Daf Yud. Since Yosef sanctified Hashem. In private, the fact that he didn't go to Asha's Potiphar, Hosifal of Os Achas Mishmo Shel Baruch So he was given one letter, which is the Hey from Hashem. Yehuda, Shekida Shem Shemayim Bafar Hesia. He was Mekad Shem Shemayim Bafar Hesia. When it came to Rashi says, Al Hayom, can all come on. You would think, Poshib Shat, you would think this has to do with the mice of Tamar. Rashi says it has to do with the Yam, okay? In fact, I think the Gemara elsewhere in Rashi over there, I think, actually mentions, doesn't mention Al Hayom. Because the Gemara over here in Dav Yudim and Beis is talks about Maisa, Maisa Tamar. Um, so it says, Kivanshu Shahayda, Yermasid Sadka Mimani, um, Yehuda Shekinah Shemini Shemayim Bafar Hesia, which again, this the whole this whole Gemara here, Lachara is it's Pasha, it's talking about the mice of Tamar. That's what it's all talking about over here. So it's interesting. Rashi over here says it's not talking about Tamar, but it's talking about Al Hayyam, which we'll have to understand what that's referring to when we get to it. 
Yosef Mahi, what is this whole notion of Yosef getting an extra letter? So we know that when he was working faithfully for Potiphar, everyone left to do their work. That not only Aish's Potiphar, but Yosef also had the intentions to have Tashmish. To do work. To take care of their needs. There was no one around. It was complete, completely empty. So Srach of Rashi says it's Tashmish. So after Bayes Gadol Kebesa Shal Aisa Rasha Lo Hayu Lo Bo Ish, how's it possible? There was no one. It was a huge house. There was con- oh, constantly people in it. So Tana Debeir Mishmuel Osa Hayom on that day Yom Chagom uh, Hoya. This was their holiday. The whole Chukul in the base of Us Chachama. They all went to worship idols. Shulhen. The Amra Lehen Chaylehi, and she said, "I'm sick." Amra, Amra. Uh, there's no better day uh, for me to go get Yosef except for today. But his paseu bevigdo laymor of a goymerish grabbed hold onto his garments. At that moment, Yosef saw a vision. He saw his father. He was like in a, in a window. Yosef. Eventually, there'll be the names of the Shvatim on the stone, on the ephod, of the coin gold of Yata. Should we want you want us to remove your name so you're not going to be included? You'll be like called the shepherd of Znos. So he made he immediately uh, stopped. So Rav Yochum and Shem Rav Meir means Shishav Kashto Leisanoi that it returned his his keshes. Um, says Rashi Yavoid Hoin Shem Toy. Again, it's like his Sheikh Vazera, which is like the, the, like the Kashtai, so it ended up retracting. And the beautiful jewels in the hand. No, that's Yada Bekarka. The. Uh, Dug, he dug his hands into the ground. And literally, the Sheikh Vazera came out of his fingers. Uh, was the Avri Yaakov, the strength of Yaakov, and his encouragement, uh, which caused him not to sin. Says Rashi. Uh, from there, the shepherd of the Evan Yisrael, from there, he was like to become like a shepherd. He was actually fit. All 12 tribes would come from him, which some people say that was the whole tension because the brothers saw with Avraham that Kibi Yitzchak Yitzchak Zara. And they saw by Yitzchak that it was only Yaakov and Esau. They were scared based on this relationship that Yosef would also take over and there'll be nothing left for them. Shinamar El told us Yaakov Yosef. El Shiyatza Shech Vazara Ben Siparni Yadav. The Sheikh Vazer came out of his fingertips. Nonetheless, it came from his brother. Bella, what does that mean? He was lost among the nations 
Bovecher, Bachor Imo, firstborn to his mother, Hoya, the Ashbel, Shishavoy Kale, he was like a captive to God, Gera, Shigar, Beachsan Yois, that he dwelled among the guests, the Naman, Shinoyim, Beyoiser, that he was very desired, Echi, Varoish, Achihu, the brother of Roishi in my head, who mupim b'chufim, who lo hoya roya b'chupasi v'ani lo isi b'chupasai. I do not see his humiliation or he mine. The arch yard lebein umos olam. They went down to the nations of the world. Ikadiami the arch upon of diamond levered. That his face was comparable to a rose. When Yosef was told by Parai, that besides you, Yosef, there'll be no other person. So he'll be like the second command. So Amru, it's Tagnini Paro, the people, his officers and astrologers said, Eved Shilwaku Rabo, Be'esrim Kesef, Tashmi Lehu Elenu. Doesn't make any sense. He was purchased for just a couple of bucks. He was a slave. He was a nobody. All of a sudden, he becomes a ruler over us. I see colors of Malchus in him. I do see great potential of leadership. And he should know all 70 languages. Taught him all 70 languages. It was difficult for Yosef to grasp. Once he was given the name of Hashem, so that helped him learn it. So anytime Paro spoke, he was able to respond to him. So Yosef started to speak in Hebrew in Lashon Kodesh. Lavi Koyada Mayavi. Remparo did not have a clue what he was talking about. So Amr Amr Lei Agmri Agmri Vla Vlagomor. So he wanted to learn it, but he didn't learn it. Amr Lei Shtabuli Dlumagales. Please reveal that. Don't please don't tell anyone. So it's interesting. You can't learn the languages unless you have a you have godliness. Like the hay. So, Paro understood there's a, a connection between knowing a lot of languages and and having some element of either power, of leadership, or even acting like God. So, if you, can, if you have an unlimited amount of knowledge, so maybe you're God. So, Paro, who acted like God, the fact that he didn't know Lashon Kodesh would be embarrassing. It's not just he didn't know a language. The point is it shows that he was a farce. He really wasn't. The God. So that's what he said. Please don't tell anyone about this. So Yishtabuloi. So Yosef promised he wasn't going to say anything. Kiyarmalei Avi Hashmiani Lamor. My father swore I have to take him out of Mitzrayim and have to bury him in, in Israel. Armalei Zil Ishtil Ashvosach. Go and undo your your vow, right? Undo your neder. Let your get rid of it. So could I get rid of our nether, our promise together? If I, you're holding our words so strong, then you have to allow my father to be buried elsewhere. Par didn't want him to go. I'm going to go and bury him just like you command, which basically... That, not that I'm going to go and then leave and never come back, but I'll make sure to to return. Okay, um, fine. That was we did. T, we're going to stop there. That was TB seven sixteen. Um, TA sixteen. Shnei abadim v'chamishim ha'isur sholiv v'gumar parach niyish arboim v'teisha. There's only forty nine. My Mashani, my Dachi, my Shana Maskana. So we originally thought, let's see, TA 16. Let's make sure I get this down. Where 
use this. TA-16. Oh, here it is. Okay. So, it says there was 50. I was only 49. So, we said, well, Yosef, because we added an extra letter. So, we said, no, it can't be, because it says Kisoldaisam, and that's not Kisoldaisam. Rather, it's referring to Binyamin. The fact that it has an extra Yod. Let's see how he writes it. TA-16. It was written full. Adkan. 